Hello students, in this video we shall learn the one mark questions from game theory. Dash is called as the father of game theory. So the father of game theory is Von Neumann. So he is known as the father of game theory. The next question is, a competitive situation is called Dash. So it is called a game. The next question is, dash is the set of rules of action of player by which player decides the game plan. So that game plan is known as those rules, set of rules by which a player decides the game plan is known as strategy of the game. So strategy. So it is known as the strategy of the game. The next question is, gains resulting from... Two person zero sum game can be represented in the matrix form which is usually called as dash matrix. Actually it is known as the payoff matrix. Payoff matrix. But only this alone is not known as payoff matrix. Every game must result in an output which will be a profit or loss. So that output is will be represented in the form of a matrix and it is known as the payoff matrix. Now here in order to just trick the question they have said only they have spoken only about gains so usually the gains and loss will be represented in the form of a matrix and that matrix is known as the pay of matrix the next question is dash exist when the max min and the min max values of the game are same so we call it to be saddle point so the saddle point exists if the minimum of the maximum value of the game is same as the maximum of minimum value so a saddle point of a payoff matrix of a game is that position in which the payoff matrix where the maximum of the row minima coincides with the minimum of the column maxima and that point is known as the saddle point the next question is the payoff at the saddle point is called the dash so we saw just now we saw what is a saddle point and the payoff at that saddle point is known as the value of the game. So value of the game. The next question is when the algebraic sum of gains and losses of all the players is zero then the game is called dash. So it is said to be a zero sum game. So, if the algebraic sum of the gains and losses, when you add the gains and the losses of all the players, it will be zero. And such a game is known as zero-sum game. The next question is, if the player select the game strategy each time, then it is called as pure strategy. Pure strategy. Because every time... The player will, that is for each time the player will be selecting the strategy of the game. So then that will be known as the pure strategy. The next question is, if the player use a combination of strategy with some fixed probabilities, then the player is said to use mixed strategy. So if the player uses a game strategy in which he selects for every time then it is known as a pure strategy and if it he if he uses a combination of strategy with some fixed probabilities then it is known as mixed strategy. The next question is the position in the payoff matrix corresponding to the optimal strategy is called saddle point. So already we saw the definition of saddle point. Now here, it's just a tricky question. That is the position. They are asking the position in the payoff matrix when the strategies are optimal. So again, that will be the saddle point only. This is another way of defining the saddle point. So the position in the payoff matrix corresponding to the optimal strategies is called saddle point. Hope you have understood all the one mark questions from game theory. Thank you.